My name is Loie Lane, and I'm so excited to tell you guys about my new podcast, Internet Urban Legends, with my BFF, Snitchery. We deep dive into the darkest corners of the internet to uncover whether some of the most notorious web myths are hoax or whether they're con. Internet Urban Legends, available exclusively on Spotify. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hi, hello. My name is Loey. We're filming in my bedroom, baby. I cannot keep you guys in one location for longer than like two videos lately. I have really missed filming videos for you guys so much, and you probably already know this, but these are some of my very favorite videos to film. Anything from the scary or the haunted side of TikTok feels like it's really, really kind of co produced by you guys because I find these videos through those of you who tag me at LoeyBugXO over on TikTok. If you want to give me a follow and tag me in anything you find scary, I would truly appreciate it. Today I have 22 paranormal TikToks, so we are in for a bit of a long haul. I was thinking about kind of like dividing this up, maybe making more than one video, but honestly I've been pretty inactive online recently just because of getting sick and some other stuff that I've had going on, so I felt like maybe we would just kind of play catch up, have a bit of a longer video today look at 22 paranormal TikToks from the haunted side of TikTok uh, because right after I filmed this I actually have another scary disturbing TikTok video and that's just for ones that aren't even inherently haunted they're just hyper disturbing or unexplainable so if you guys want to see that one go ahead and give this video a thumbs up you know that that always helps me know what you guys want to see next and for now let's get into 22 paranormal TikToks that keep me up at night we're opening up here with a bit of a familiar face or actually two familiar faces this TikTok is from the Hanley family, and I have mentioned them previously in scary side of TikTok videos um, on this channel. Just they are going through kind of like the craziest haunting and documenting it every step of the way. I can't play the audio here, but basically they were dancing to that uh, my money don't jiggle jiggle sound <laughs> over on TikTok when they notice something happening in the background. See, as they're literally just filming a not paranormal whatsoever TikTok, you can see as the paper towel roll on like one of those little stands starts to move off the counter all on its own. They manage to catch it before it literally flies off and falls on the floor, and that's where the video ends. It's captioned, when the ghost is tired of being the backup dancer. Maybe the ghost really does want to be in the spotlight here. I mean, it's very active whenever cameras are on, and I've noticed that the Hamley family has really been recording their everyday lives from making their kids lunch to just hanging out in their home, seemingly all in hopes of catching paranormal activity. I definitely have my eye on this account, and I am continuing to watch as the story unfolds. Next up is this absolutely insane story from a parent Paramedic. Now, this is from the account paramedic.storytime, and I'm not sure if this is all one person or if it's like a collection of people, but anyway, this paramedic talks about in this video one of his absolute creepiest calls to date. And I have to imagine that working in this line of work has to be really taxing and draining for so many physical reasons. So it's got to be so much scarier when you hear what almost sounds like a ghost story while on the job. So several years ago, we get called out uh, for a wellness check on an elderly lady. It was uh, mid-July, very hot summer, probably close to 100 degrees for multiple days in a row. Once we get there, walking up to the front door, we seen flies on the inside of the window, and that's never a good sign. Sure enough, this lady had been dead for quite a while. The body had already decomposed um, severely. It was a quite uh, gruesome scene. We backed out and was waiting for the corner to get there, so we walked back to the ambulance. Uh, across the road, a neighbor lady, another elderly female, was standing over there, and she uh, motioned us over to her, and she said, is everything okay? And I said, well, we got called out for a wellness check on your neighbor, and because uh, nobody had seen her in several days. So the lady says, well, yeah, she's not been acting right the last couple days. I'm like, oh, really? She said, yeah, normally she comes out every day and either checking her mail or sitting on the swing on her front porch and uh, we'll kind of talk. She said, but the last uh, few days, uh, she just stands at her front door waving at me when I'm looking over there. So, was this lady really dead for a week or something else going on? So, the neighbor saw the old woman waving from across the street at her, but of course, according to the paramedic, 
she had been dead for quite some time. Was this the woman waving at her from across the street trying to get her attention and let her know that something had happened? Was this her spirit? Or was this something more sinister? I'm not sure of the answer there, but this story really crawled under my skin and I thought it would scare a lot of you too. Next up is a two-parter. Well, kind of. It's crucial that you see both of these, but I'm counting them as one video, you'll understand. So, the TikTok in question is from a guy named Mr. Fender 76 And he's just talking about like lights that he's installed on his car. Uh, I'm not on car TikTok, so I don't know what any of this means, but we know that the story doesn't stop there. It's when he's demonstrating these lights in the forest that people began to notice something truly bizarre. And these are the ones I just installed. Look how friggin' bright that is. This is amazing. Some of you who are super observant may have just noticed this, but as those floodlights come on, something disappears behind a tree. Now, many people in the comments pointed this out. This video went super viral. And in the follow-up video, which is just a close-up of this clip, you can literally watch as something slowly pulls its arm from around the tree. Some people were suggesting that this is a hide behind, which is essentially, I, I'm not gonna pretend I'm that knowledgeable in it, but it's like a kind of urban uh, legend of this creature that literally hides behind trees and follows you when you're not looking. But to me, what this looks like is that something was coming towards this man in the dark. And when he turned on the lights, it went back into hiding. Because why would a real person, a real live human person, be in the woods with their arm around a tree just to slowly pull it back right as those lights come on? The whole thing is super freaky and I don't have a logical explanation for it. Next up, we have a series of videos from the TikTok user Morg with a bunch of underscores. And I think that I have mentioned her videos before in a haunted side of TikTok. If not, I've at the very least watched her TikToks before. In this first video, she says that she is exploring her family's haunted farm, that her husband couldn't come with her that day, but just basically giving a little vlog in the day of the life when something really strange happens. I am exploring my family's haunted farm today and I'm not in the woods because that's freaking scary, but my husband couldn't even come today, so it's... You can see in the background of the video here, it looks like somebody is standing there with their back to morgue, but she had just said that her husband couldn't come and she was there alone. Well, in the following video, she gives a bit of an explanation. Okay, so I screen recorded to like play around with it and it does kind of look like something is at the beginning. Like I can't tell if it's a person or not, but you can kind of see it in the back. Like it looks like there's nothing, but also that could be something in the very back. I really don't know. But then just a few seconds pass and it's right behind me. And if you've watched my story times before, I've told you I've seen like this thing in my apartment that looks just like my husband but won't let me see its face. And it looks just like this. Always with its back to me. Just always with that flannel on that he always wears. I don't know what to think of this. So something has been following her. Something that looks like her husband but will never let her see its face. And that has got to be one of the scariest things I've ever heard in my life. Now, in the next video I wanted to share with you, uh, Morg basically shows this figure once again, kind of in motion this time. See, she and her husband had set up her phone to take a couple of videos of skits that she wanted to do for um, just her social media and stuff. But then in post editing, she noticed a figure come around the house and she claims this is the very figure that looks like her husband, but will never let her see its face. See, she explains that her husband was not on that side of the house, had never gone over there, but that this was the thing that she claims to see. And it is really scary. A lot of her videos talk about just how haunted the land that she lives on and has grown up on is. And if I'm not mistaken, she lives in the Appalachian Mountains, Appalachian Mountains. And just based on her experiences alone, it's not a place I would be frequenting anytime soon. She and I are also mutuals on TikTok. So if you guys would want to kind of see me talk to her and sort of interview her all about her life and her stories and uh, learn more about these ghosts, let me know. 
because I would love to do a video. Moving on, this next TikTok is from TikTok underscore paranormal, but I of course think it's from somebody else. This TikTok account is just one of those that kind of like compiles different scary videos and stuff and um, just puts them on their page. So who the original poster is, I'm not sure. But essentially here, we're following a renovator as he enters a home and apparently he began to record because he thought that he was going to find a squatter living within the home that he's going to renovate. So he's walking around the house, he's calling out, you know, just saying hello, like come out, like I know you're here, that kind of stuff. But what he discovered was much scarier than an actual person within that home. Hello? Who is it? So to recap here, he's walking through, he's calling out, just as it kind of seems like the coast is clear, a door opens, then the basement door is slammed shut on its own, lights flicker, and he hightails it. I also thought I heard like something drop, like it sounded like something dropped, like somebody dropped something, but it's the after math of him dropping the phone that really freaks me out. Look me in the eyes, you right there. Look me in the eyes and tell me something was not sniffing the phone. Why was something sniffing the phone? I, I actually don't want you to answer that. The phone then spins around on its own and then the renovator comes back to collect and that's where the video ends with no follow-ups or anything. But it makes me wonder why the previous owners moved out. Oh boy, I got tagged in this next one so many times and for good reason, it's really freaky. So this is from TikTok user Jake Levy 62 and his original video went super, super viral. The one that I'm gonna show you is almost like a follow-up, almost like an explanation video because I don't wanna get copyright struck or whatever um, because in the original video, Jake was singing and as he was singing, people, oh, it gives me chills. People began to notice a small, like a little girl, a figure of a little girl standing off to the bottom right downstairs from where he was singing. And everyone was just like, who is that? Like, I thought you were home alone. Like, what is going on? So he posted this as an explanation video. Hey everyone, here's a little update on this video. As I mentioned, this was in my drafts and filmed about a year and a half ago. And actually, if you've been following me long enough, you may have seen the original version of this song that I posted that night um, without any visitors. However, this one has this little girl in the background watching from the distance about halfway through. At this time, I was actually living alone in my childhood home. And although I don't know who this girl is, I could possibly offer an explanation. So this is where I normally film the videos at the top of the banister uh, in the main hall, just because the acoustics are great. Um, but downstairs, you can see uh, the dining room, which is the room that the little girl was in. And in there, we have this portrait. Uh, the portrait is of a little girl, and actually it was here as we bought the house. Um, we contacted the original owners to see if they wanted the painting, but they never responded, and we kept it because it was pretty. To me, this entire thing is actually sort of heartwarming. Like, maybe somebody was just genuinely listening in and admiring his performance. At least that's the vibe that I get. But... Also really scary, like I can imagine being super freaked out if I was just recording myself doing something like singing, doing the laundry, like whatever. And I look back and there's a little girl watching me from downstairs. This next video is from a username I can't quite say, but I will have it listed down below. The TikTok poster tagged official really haunted. And this account is actually attached to a YouTube channel that originally posted all of this footage. Now the poster of this channel is named Lee and he and his family have been dealing with what they refer to as a poltergeist-like entity, 
for basically like four years now if I'm doing my math right. Lee has been posting his findings on YouTube under this channel name, been getting really great views um, just with the kind of documentation that he's been doing of this ghost that's in his house. And so this TikTok was just sort of a re-upload of this. And this TikTok opened me up to the world of this haunting but also is just truly terrifying. Lee has started filming like everything about his life. As you can see in this video, he has like night vision cameras and stuff set up uh, so that he can capture things while he's asleep. And he captured something on this night while he was sleeping that is too disturbing to even recap. She was my wife. Who was your wife? Who was your wife? You took her from me. I didn't take anyone. I found her here. I found her. Who? Who have you found? Use that device again. Tell me who. Tell me your name. My wife. My wife. Your wife isn't here. In this video, after something makes like a ton of noise, sounding like it's banging around, knocking around and stuff, something begins to talk to Lee through the Amazon Alexa, saying something about a wife, my wife, over and over again. The laughs at the end are particularly unsettling. This is an ongoing haunting that's been happening for years and has been documented that entire time. So I have to imagine there's so many videos just like this on the channel and definitely something I can look further into. But for now, I thought I would share that clip with you because it made me unplug my Alexa that night. I won't even lie to you. Next, we have a bit of an urban exploration video. It's been a while since we've talked about one of those. Um, and this is from Adam Mark Explores. Now he and his team were exploring basically like an abandoned old mansion. And this mansion was in a pretty bad state, at least when he was exploring it, but really looks like it was just kind of up and left, like furniture still in there. And it almost looks like someone could still be living there. That's why it had to be particularly freaky when this happened. This is the creepiest thing I've ever witnessed in my life. We were exploring an abandoned house and something was trying to open the door to this room. So something is trying to get into the room where Adam and his team are, and alarmingly when he opens the door, he finds nothing. The room is empty, so who was being that loud trying to open the door? I would have hightailed it right out of there, but that's why I don't really go ghost hunting anymore. I kind of want to though. Hmm, maybe ghost hunting low should return. But seriously, if a single thing like that happened, I would just stop for good, like I could never do it again. Video number 10 is from the user Hannah series, who explains a situation with a ghost attached to the home that she lives in. 
This ghost is apparently of a young teen boy named Christopher. So I have a teen ghost. His name is Christopher. He lives in this house. He died in the late 90s, early 2000s, and he is a bit of an asshole. I was doing a spirit box session for a travel channel video about LGBTQ pride and like asking ghosts, like, what are your pronouns? What are you blah, blah, blah. And then Christopher decided to prank me. Hello, is anyone here with us today? Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Oh God. If you were alive today, how would you celebrate pride? Is it hard using the spirit box? How do you feel about me being gay? It is. The tragedy of Rude! <laughs> do you want to say anything else? Like, I can't even be mad about that. That's so funny. That's so good. <laughs> I, I mean, he's a 17 year old kid. What more could I expect? In this video, as you can see, Christopher just likes to cause absolute chaos. And it kind of gave me a little bit of a giggle. More than anything, like this one wasn't necessarily scary as much as it was just kind of funny. But I wanted to share it for two reasons. Number one, it sort of reminded me of the next videos that I'm going to talk about. But number two, I really need to give you guys a haunted house update because I have been dealing with the opposite of a ghost that is happy to be part of an LGBTQ stream. Um, I have been dealing with very homophobic ghost. You guys know that I've talked about my house ghost Paul and how he is just like constantly walking around the house, like testing out all the electricity, testing out the water, like making sure everything's working right. Uh, you know, just doing his rounds. But there is something else in the house that really did not make itself known to me until last month and without sounding absolutely insane the ghost is homophobic the ghost is homophobic because obviously june was pride month like crazy things would happen to me every single time that like i went out to celebrate pride or i got a pride pr package or i hung up my pride flag like just the most obscene stuff so i wanted to include this to remind me that i needed to kind of tell you guys that and that i need to make a full video but i'm glad that for hannah christopher is a pretty chill ghost who seems to just be vibing alongside uh her in their spirit box session but again seeing this reminded me of another tiktoker i kind of wanted to mention in this video and that is Say Golden Pony Boy. As I said that name, I feel like so many of you have got to be so excited because I got a million and one tags on these videos. This TikToker says that she has had a ghost attached to her for the last like four or five years and that his name is Chad. So these next few TikToks just contain chatting with Chad, which will later be called chatting, big, big fan of the Chad content, and also uh, just Chad lore and other stuff. So I've had a ghost attachment for the last like four or five years, and I bought these dowsing rods recently to like help with communication, and my ghost is really responsive with them. So I thought we could ask him some questions because like, why not? It's like fun. Chad, can you show everyone what a yes looks like, please? Thank you. Can you move it back? Can you show everyone what a no looks like? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it was a bad idea that I went out tonight and got drunk? You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In that first video, you can see that they just communicate with the dowsing rods after a night out for the poster, and she seems to be very comfortable with this entity. And in this next video, that sort of conversation just continues, this time also utilizing a flashlight. Chad, we have some new internet besties, and they want to chat some more, so... Yeah, so let's do some chatting. <laughs> As much as I'm not um, uncomfortable or that scared of the ghost stuff, it's like, yeah, the flashlight thing turning on and stuff will always be a little eerie. <laughs> Thanks for turning it off. <laughs> so Chad claims to be a frat boy who went to school in Florida. Um, and he mentioned he wears a snapback. So Chad, are you wearing your snapback backwards? Is it like on backwards? Yes. <laughs> Chad, I want you to answer this honestly. So if you agree with the statement, say yes, okay? Boobs are better than butts. 
butts are better than boobs. So Chad is answering a typical frat guy questions, really letting everyone get to know him here. And I just think it's so fascinating when people catch what really feels like such authentic interactions with spirit on camera. Like Chad is not answering the questions and knocking things off the walls and like, I'm gonna kill you. Like he's literally just a frat guy who very clearly is just like, hanging out with his buddy. The poster, of course, was getting tons of questions about Chad. What is Chad's story? How did you come to basically have Chad the friendly ghost? Like, where did all of this come from? And she gave a very brief explanation. I'm gonna include some of the key details here, but if you wanna listen to the full story and watch all of these yourself, make sure to head over to her TikTok. I'll have it linked down below. When I was in college, me and my best friend and roommate uh, moved in together into a really old brownstone apartment in Boston, because that's where we were going to school. And uh, we used to joke around and say, our ghost frat boy Chad, blah, blah, blah. And it was kind of a bit that we would do 24 seven. And we did it for like months. We like unknowingly opened a door and a space to be filled by something. You could say the bit went too far and we started having activity happen in our apartment. Things being moved around, the vinyl player being turned on, um, our freezer door being like opened when we say pour one out for Chad. And recently, um, me and my best friends have been wanting to do ghost hunting stuff. So I just bought all of this equipment. Like I have a REM pod coming in, I have a spirit box coming in, I have like an EMF detector coming. And the dowsing rods were the first thing to come, so I started, you know, doing the dowsing rod thing and asking questions, and that's how I discovered that Chad was still with me. So to confirm with him, I asked him if he was actually a frat boy, and he said yes. I asked him uh, if his name was Chad, and he said no. And so I asked him if he wanted me to call him a different name, and he said no. And I was like, oh, so you like being called Chad? Like, is Chad just like the name you're taking on? He was like, yeah. So I think he just likes being called Chad and his name isn't actually Chad. So Chad basically was like a spirit that seems to have almost been like manifested in a way that they kept joking about having a house ghost, kept joking about having this house ghost. And it was almost like they opened a void to be filled by something. That something is not Chad, but allows itself to be referred to as such. I'd be curious if when the poster, if they end up getting like um, a spirit box or something, if Chad will be able to communicate further and maybe tell his real name, because right now it seems like it has to be pretty limited just using like dowsing rods. Anyway, as I was working on this video, I saw another chatting with Chad video had been posted. And again, this is just another conversation with the ghost. Okay, Chad, should we start the video off with a shot? A collective shot together. <laughs> okay. I guess I make Chad content now, so cheers, Chad. <coughs> A few questions came to my attention. So first one, are you in the LGBTQIA plus community? Are you an ally? Okay, I was like... Can you cancel a ghost? These videos are funny, they're lighthearted, and they remind me a lot of kind of my interactions with my house ghost, Paul. He really could take or leave me. He doesn't care about me that much and doesn't really feel like interacting with me 99% of the time. He's just sort of patrolling the house, guarding the house, taking care of the house, and making sure that I do my part to do the same. He has helped me in certain scenarios. Like I have found my keys, really last minute when um, I've looked in a certain place and then suddenly they'll show up uh, or I've found my wallet in certain ways. I also one time stumbled home from the bar just like absolutely so 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 intoxicated and then the next day found that I had fuzzy socks on and I was like I really don't think I put those on my feet. Anyway to me Chad kind of has a similar energy to this and I hope we get to hear more about him. And now the next three TikToks are actually what I wanted to make this entire video for, if we're being totally honest. And they're a preview more than anything. The videos are from the account DLEGO Spikers. This, I hope I'm saying that correctly. This account follows the craziest ghost story I've ever seen in my life. Like the craziest like story, 
haunting, viral, I don't even know what to say. Like this is the scariest piece of media I've ever consumed on the internet and we are just getting started. We are scratching the surface with the videos I'm gonna show you today. I believe these videos to be in Portuguese and I could be incorrect. In them, the poster is enduring what seems to be an incredibly haunted doll that is attached to what is either like his daughter or his sister named Amy. I'm sure there's a lot lost in translation here because I can only really translate the captions on each video. In this first one, we hear somebody pounding on a door and crying. <laughs> when the poster opens the door, nobody is standing at it banging, but instead there's a little girl in the corner, giggling, huddled down on the ground. The poster closes the door for a brief second, and when he reopens it, she's gone. This is seemingly Amy, who is being plagued by the haunted doll. The next video, and maybe the most viral one from this account so far, shows somebody giggling. The poster hears someone giggling and enters the living room. And I'm gonna warn you right now, this video scared the crap out of me, gave me nightmares, and you have been warned. <laughs> Amy? <laughs> Amy? Ay, Diosito. Amy? Amy? So Amy, of course, is still. She's not opening her mouth, she's not giggling, and a disembodied pair of hands can be seen playing with her hair. And, like, nobody can fit in that. And when the poster comes by, he sees that it's just the doll. And again, this really scared me. This video freaked me out so badly, like kept me up at night. I could not stop thinking about it. There was something so viscerally scary about that moment, about like, mm, I, no. Lastly, at least for now, we see a glimpse of what appears to be a child in a cupboard during this video. The poster slowly opens it and sees someone inside. When the poster reopens the cupboard, nobody is there. And actually the caption of this video says, after this event, my life was never the same again. I say that this was a preview because I wanna do an entire video on this story. I really wanna deep dive into it. I wanna make an entire video on everything that has happened with this account. These accounts, like so, some of them have been taken down. That being said, if you know the language that's being spoken here, if you recognize any of this and you want to help me translate, send me an email at loweylanestorytime at gmail.com. It's my email that I have listed down below. Uh, I am going to try to hire someone to basically translate these videos for me and I'd always love to hire one of you guys for outsourcing. So let me know if you want to help me with that. Moving on to something just as disturbing. Uh, a woman in New York has been receiving mail from her mother who died in 2014. Breaking news, a woman is receiving mysterious mail dating back to the 1960s and the post office says they don't know how she's getting it. Carol Hoover from New York says, quote, they shouldn't have gotten to me. In early April, she received a postcard in the mail and while this is not unusual, the fact that it was dated August 30th, 1960 is. She said she immediately recognized the handwriting on the postcard as her mother's. However, her mother passed away in 2014. She said based on the postmark on the postcard, she knew it was from her parents' honeymoon. The next day, she took the letter to the post office just to have a laugh. The employee at the post office told her that she had a substitute delivery person for that delivery and that they had more in the back. And the letters kept coming. Her cousin also received a letter at her former family home in Minnesota. So she's getting these postcards in the mail from her late mother, dated back to when she would have been on her honeymoon. Her mom has also been gone for years. So why were they just being delivered now? I'm curious if there's any like information in regards to where does she live? Is it like her childhood home? Is it home that they knew of? Like, why is she getting these letters? But it's bone chilling to say the least. This TikTok is from Logan Isbell, who's talking about a light in his home that mysteriously turns itself on every single night without fail, despite him always manually turning it off beforehand. I don't get it every night. 
Around this time, I cut this light off in the living room and it comes right back on when I get in bed. You ghost! Do you pay the damn electricity? Cut the shit off! Cut it off now! <laughs> Once Logan mentions the light, it immediately switches back off. Maybe the ghost was just kind of scared of the dark. Now on to another haunting that seems to have been going on for a while. I feel like we're kind of spoiled in the realm of haunted TikToks recently in terms of people who have been sharing like serious long-term ghost stories in their lives. This one in particular is from Chubby Gooby, who posted these in June and essentially is just sharing the story because they kind of are at a loss. Like they're not entirely sure what to do and they want to know if anyone else has experienced anything like this. In this first video, it starts off with their cat approaching them. Now they have security cameras up through their house because of the paranormal experiences that they have had. Their cat walks up to them, which is abnormal to begin with. And then what follows is bizarre. Our surveillance camera caught this and I'm a little bit nerved about everything that happens. My cat never comes up to me like this unless she wants food. So that might have been <laughs> what it was, but she was acting particularly weird. Our cat just walked away from me and I felt like she knew it was coming. The cat looking right at the camera as it falls is really unsettling, but I guess to play full devil's advocate, maybe it was slipping beforehand. You could kind of like watch it droop, um, you know, like earlier in the video. So maybe the cat was just watching it fall. Beforehand too, the cat was kind of like fixated on that spot before something fell on its own. So that was weird in itself. But then the next video from this account was what really made me want to talk about it. In this one, the bedroom door opens on its own while a camera is filming the poster and her partner. Now the bedroom door opens. You can literally almost see like something is sort of blurry on the left side of this frame. You can literally see as it looks like somebody walks into the room and then stuff starts to move entirely on its own. We were both half asleep at this point and I don't really remember what happened exactly. I just heard a sound. The hamper slowly pushes towards him in this clip. And then something falls off of that shelf, sending the hamper like flying forward. And then that is what wakes them up. That's where this video ends and that's where the footage that I have to show you ends. But I am so curious what the poster has left to show. And then listen, this could have gone into my next video, the unexplained TikToks video, but I really just had to show it to you now. This one is short and sweet and not paranormal, actually, technically. So call me a fraud. It's not the haunted side of TikTok, but you are not going to blame me when you see what this is. Someone found a car buried on their property, found a truck buried on their property. The poster was like, this is bizarre. Why? Like, why is this car here? And so many people in the comments were like, hey girl, that may be a crime scene. Like you really probably should report this. Like this has sinister undertones. And the poster had the following to say in a follow-up video. Hey guys, last update on the car for now. We called the sheriff and he said it's nothing to worry about. People bury cars to help stabilize the ground, especially with the way people water their fields in my town. I'm sorry, burying cars is common practice to help with ground stability? I'm no expert here, you know? Like I grew up on a muscadine farm with chickens and cows and stuff, but like I've never heard of people burying cars to help with ground stability. Like that seems like a very expensive way to stabilize your fields. And many people in the comments were pointing out like, listen girl, that sheriff might have something to do with this. Like this is, this has bad vibes written all over it. And I couldn't help but feel like we were almost watching like a piece of true crime media play out live. Whole thing is suspicious, but I'm keeping an eye on it. 
So there you guys have it, 22 paranormal TikToks that I truly hope you did not watch alone or at night, and if you did, sorry in advance for the lack of sleep. I want to say a really special thank you to my subscriber Lisa for being a member of this channel. If you want to join my channel memberships, get one extra members exclusive video each and every month, as well as other members only perks, you can join us by hitting that little join button, it should be somewhere around the screen. We would love to have you. For now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you very, very much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!